folks, Bill of the North here, and I wanted to talk to you today about a possible repair you can make to your USGI lensetic compass if the dial is sticking and uh, you don't even have to take it apart. For a while now I've been wanting to get one of these compasses and the current contractor is Kamenga, but they're pretty expensive for a brand new one, $80, $90. And uh, I didn't mind getting an older one if it was in working condition and what I discovered is that pretty much they have to be taken apart and cleaned, upon, cleaned up after you get one. And so I, I did get a, two or three of them made by Stocker and Yale in, in the late 80s and the early 90s. And that did prove to be the case where I had to take them apart and they were fogged up. I had to clean the, the glass and the dial and everything, but they work just as good as a new one after you do that. There's a couple of good videos on YouTube about how to take them apart, so I won't go into that. But I did have a problem with one of these compasses. Now this one particular compass, I had cleaned it and put it back together, and I discovered that the needle was sticking. Even with the aperture pulled back, when it should have been unlocked. Now the compass dial rotates on this little needle in the center. The only thing holding it in place is gravity and this plastic cover. And I had assumed that the problem was caused by the needle having a burr in it or being damaged in some way. And I took it apart several times and played with it and tried to clean up the needle that supposedly I thought was the problem and it didn't help any. And then I discovered the solution. These two screws were just a little bit too tight and it was pushing down on this little tongue of metal. So just back them out a turn or a half a turn, put a little Loctite in there if you feel it's necessary, and now your needle, hope you can see that, now your needle will be freed up, won't stick, unless you want it to. Now if you look at how the compass works, when you close this lens here, it pushes up a little bar inside that raises the dial and it locks it in place so that it doesn't move. As you can see there, it's unlocked and it's moving. Now right here is a small triangular shaped piece of plastic and that's part of the mechanism that locks and unlocks the compass dial and I had accidentally put this in upside down now that was not the problem as I was trying to figure it out what I realized was this little tongue of metal pushes down on that triangle of plastic and that was causing the dial to lock up even when it was in the unlocked position it was being sticky basically and that's all there was to it so if you have a sticky compass dial Give this a try before you take yours apart. Maybe it'll work. Save you some trouble.